In order to use the race queues dashboard analytic, you need to first set up the course. If you need help with that, see another tutorial. The dashboard is one of the most advanced and helpful features of the analytics. You can turn on or off the following features. You will only get heel and drift if you have mounted your phone by attaching it to the boat parallel to the center line. There are instructions in the app for doing this. If you just have the phone in your pocket or in your bag down below, you'll be able to get these first two things along with your heading. We'll begin with just choosing the speed over ground overlay. So the first thing that you notice is the boat sailing along and then we have a vector that's coming out and moving around and a whole bunch of dots. Each dot represents one second of speed data and it's color coded for that speed. You can see if you can't remember the color code by checking over here. So each turquoise dot means it was between four and five knots and each of those green dots is between five to six knots and look there's a yellow we hit six to seven. It's not terribly useful just to see your instant speed, although we have that displayed as well in the number. What you want to see is your speed over time. What's interesting here is this is showing you your speed over time on the end of a vector that is showing your course over the ground. So by looking at this little cloud, you're able to see basically how well you were driving. The tighter the cloud, the better you were steering. Also, the brighter the speed dot, the more recent the speed data, and they fade away completely after a minute. This red triangle here shows the direction to the mark. Now let's look at the next one. We will turn, just for clarity's sake, off the speed over ground and turn on the VMG. The VMG is another color-coded scatter plot, but this time it's lined up on a vector that shows the estimated wind direction at that time. There is one dot for each second, and the brighter dots are going to indicate a more recent VMG. And the next thing to look at is the heel. The heel shows on a vector that's perpendicular to your course. Again, you're only going to get your heel if the phone is mounted. It's really nice to have a mounted phone because then when you're looking at this in 3D, you have a very clear picture of how the movements of your boat affected, let's say, your speed. Let's look at the last one of these choices, which is drift. By turning on the drift vector, I can see the difference between my course and my heading. The heading is the white line coming out the front of the boat. The course is the colored line, which is color coded for speed. And then this arrow here is showing you how much drift, which is the difference between your heading and your course. What's most interesting is to turn on all four overlays. It's a lot of information, so let's go over it one more time in this graphic that shows everything. So first of all, the one most people pay attention to initially is the speed over ground. Your speed over ground is a vector that shows your course angle, and then there each of these little little each little dot is a scatter plot or a speed histogram with one dot for each second. The dots are color coded for speed and a brighter dot is a more recent entry. The next thing we see here is the drift, which is the difference between your course over ground and your heading. The heading will be the line that is coming out the front of the boat and the course over ground will be the line that has the speed on the end of it. Remember, you're only going to get drift if your phone is mounted or attached down to your boat. And there's instructions in the app for that. This little red triangle shows the direction to the mark. And this is the VMG histogram. Now, the VMG vector here, this line, that is the wind angle. And then you have little dots, one for each second, showing your VMG for the last minute. Again, color coded for speed. And last of all, you have heel. In this picture, the heel is only one degree, so it's hidden behind the boat, but it shows up as gray dots here on this vector that's parallel to your course. Let's take a look at it in practice on a moving boat and go over it again. 
Although this might be a bit much for some people, this is giving you a lot of information. Let's go from left to right. First of all, these gray dots are showing the heel for the last minute where you've been. Now remember, we tacked, so that's why you're going to see heel angles on both sides. Here we can see the VMG, which is color-coded for speed. And remember, the VMG is on a vector that shows the estimated wind direction. And then here we have the larger dots, which are showing your speed. And we can watch as our mark rounding, see how well, how smoothly we did that because the speed over ground dots are on a vector showing your course. Although the drift will presumably be a bit less downwind, remember, you can see that as well. Let's go back upwind so we can get a good look at the drift. So you have your speed over ground on a course over ground vector, and then this other little guy sticking out, that's your heading. And the white line between the two, that shows how much the boat is drifting. Now, whether that's a drift because of wind or current, we don't know, but it does show how much sideways motion that you have. If you need another minute to study this key, just pause the video, or this graphic is posted in our help files.